Just play! Welcome, uh, thank you for joining. Uh, we are now proceeding with our campaign uh, for Skyrim. We are doing chapter two of campaign one right now at the moment. And uh, we have actually set up everything back. Uh, our board, we raised it a little bit here just so it's easy, a little bit easy and just squeeze through in what we have. So we have we still have our, uh, our, our active uh, quest here, which is the killing cultist, as well as the uh, preparing for the storm one, which is still up above there. Next, we will then go through uh, chapter two and what it requires, right? And see you for the actual setup. So, says campaign one, chapter two. The blades find themselves targeted by a dark conspiracy across Skyrim. Led by a Khajiit named Moiva Karnai, the Great War ends, and the Talmar gain access to the province, putting the Blades' lives in jeopardy. So remove all threat tokens from cards and the Stronghold charts, so we will have to remove the ones in the active quest that we have, which is good, okay. Shuffle the Campaign 1 Chapter 2 event cards with event cards left over from the last chapter and place them on the event deck slot. So... This is the one that we have before, and we will just add these three chapter ones and just keep on shuffling. Okay. Sorry, I think I need to remove one. I think there was the, the vampire one, right? Because that was already in the discard pile. What was this? This one. Yes, that was already in the discard pile. As well as the horse event. There we go. Yeah, we got that. And this mystery bargain as well, so as I remember. Those are already in the, because it doesn't say to, uh, it says the remaining ones, right? Shuffle the combine one chapter events with the cards left over from the last chapter. Left over from the last chapter. So, yes. Okay, I think that's shuffled enough. We still have our blades deck here on this side. And then place the Ulfric Ulf Ulf Militia's token on East March. So we will have to place it there. This token doesn't go in onto, onto any specific spaces on the game board. Instead, it is placed on the empty space between roads, the hole it's occupying. This token represents the army of Ulfric Stormcloak is leading to liberate market from King Madanak of the Reachman. So we'll probably go to that one, right? So we draw 213 to begin playing and for special rules. Okay, so let's have that ready for a minute. So this is 213. And then place all figures in solitude, which is what we have here, and cards 184 to 187. Point four and five, one six, one eight seven. And read the titles and the cards out loud and allow each player to select one and discard the remaining cards. If playing this chapter, okay, we don't need that as standalone. So we have first one is the Reachman. We have Ulrich, Ulfrex Militia, right? And then the Blackbriars family, that sounds familiar. As well as cannibals. There you go. Well, uh, cannibals might sound not nice. <laughs> so I think we will choose cannibals. So we will we'll put that aside and discard the rest. Okay, and then continue with the, it says Daedric Princess. Daedric Princesses are always keen to get involved in the lives of heroes and villains alike. Some point of the story, they will become pivotal characters. Whenever a Daedric 
prince speaks in the game, their text will be colored with a different color for each prince. Okay. Understood. And that's it. That's all the setup we needed for uh, main one chapter one. Oh, sorry, we forgot to set up our board from our last level, right? Let me double check this. I think we only had up to one level one. Yes, because we only did uh, level up once. Okay, and then black, blue, and red. That's it. And I think we're good to go. And shuffled and everything's done. We still have a active vampire, so that's why this is the active villain. I mean, uh, roaming monsters that we have. And I think that is it. Um, we are good to go. So let's get started. Let's read the Kindling in the Fire first. Kindling in the Fire, the war is over. The Emperor signs the white gold concordat, banning the worship of Talos across Tamriel and disbanding the blades. Meanwhile, in Skyrim, Ulfric Stormcloak marches with his, mili with his militia towards Markath, set on defeating King Madanak of the Reachmen. The Jarl of Markath has promised Ulfric to make stronghold a safe haven for Talos, uh, for Talos worshippers in Skyrim if he succeeds. The Blades will need to find all allies in different parts of Skyrim if they want to survive. Okay, and it says here, special rules. Ulfric's Militia Path, uh, Ulfric's Militia Path, okay, is going to East March, here, okay, then go to Winterhold. It's gonna go... There, okay, sorry, winter hold, then the pale, then white run, and then the reach. So basically goes that way. Okay. So when a old fragment card icon appears in a card, move the old fragment tokens one step towards the reach. So we keep on moving forwards. And then a chapter failure for main quest card, which is its max limit, then uh, draw one, three, eight. So let's put this on the side. That's our reminder. That's our. Um, Finally, cannibals. Rumors speak of a group of cannibals in a cave near Marka, who, like me, worship Namira. I knew they would be willing to help me if I lend them my support. So we need to put a marker on one of the caves in the reach. So I guess if this is the reach. I think this is a cave. That's good. Oh, let's put, we need to put our marker. Sorry, there we go. These are their first maker, and that is it. So this is our main quest and our side, our currently active side quest. And okay, so now, uh, what's our plan? Uh, first, I think. It's our first turn. Basically, we want to go here. So let's draw an event first. Oh, it's a call to arms. Oh, I think I might have shot, but that, that still. Is but this right, I think companions are looking for new members to join the ranks. Can you prove yourself worthy, right? And then we put two threat tokens on the board. I think we need, we can put it in the home we need and in one of our cannibals. And we put a token in white one. There we go. That's it. So let's put that here. We have now two active world quests at the moment. Okay, so uh, we have a world quest now. So what is the plan? I can just, oh, sorry. We need to put a marker in Riften as well because we still have this active quest, right? Uh, no, our personal quest. Let's put our personal quest on that one. There we go. 
Okay, I guess the plan is to probably just go to the cannibal boss. It's but it says uh, level two is the required one requirement to to do that. Can we try to clear it? I think we can, right? Or maybe we just go to one, two, three. One, two, three. So we're going through the vampire via that way. Maybe we go this way. One, two, three, four. I oh, don't think we still can go to Martha because it says here you passed before. It's still still unreachable, right? I need to put that there. So. So I think we might just go to one, two, three. Maybe one, two, three, four. And then we can go one, two, three, four. Oh, it's still two turns. What's the best way? What's the best route for that? Maybe we just go through this way. There's one, two, three. Yeah, I thought this was connected together, but it isn't. So the only way to go through this way is via this vampire route, right? We don't want to deal with the vampire at the, the moment because it looks <laughs> it looks scary. <laughs> um, and I think. Wait, that's what is the how much is for the cave? So if we go here, one, two, one, two, three, four, we will be fighting two chap uh, we'll be basically fighting two, right? Do we want to do that? If we go here, one, two, three, still not enough. Oh wait, we can do a caravan since we are in solitude and we just want to go, where's the nearest one? Here? You can go to Falkreath and then just, so it costs one, two, Ooh, we can just go to Whiterun actually. Let's go to Whiterun. So we're going to Whiterun, costing two gold. And then let's try to, let's pay for two gold first. So this will be back to, I think let's put it here. It's easier to pick up. So converting that five uh, minus two gold. So one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. I don't like this upside down. It's even too small for that skate skates, right? So we can do the Preparing for the storm one, right? I'm sorry, we can do the white run, the call to arms one, so we can have another quest in hand. Maybe. So let's try to do that. So in this case, we have to test our might. So we have, uh, we don't have a two handed one or one handed one skills so we just use our normal three skill and we need two successes and we can still push for two in any case right let's try to do that first okay missed one we will use this to push let's add another one there we go so we got our success so we can remove that it says you upgrade an item and shuffle one, four, three. So we can upgrade uh, our Daedric armor, I think. So we just randomly pull from this one. And we do get an extra. Where'd it go? It's now a little bit more heavier. We are good with that. Then shuffle one, four, three with the top cards of the event deck and discard this card. So we get one, four, three. Top four. One, two, three, four. Shuffle that. And then put in that.
And this is now gone. Let's put that on the side. So now we are in white trim. I guess, and that's it. That's our turn. We we paid, and then we did an active quest, and this goes back up. We then pass this to the event marker here, and then it's now again our turn. I think we can go to one, two, three, four. Let's go to start to complete this cannibals quest and see what we get. One, two, three, four. Claim this. And let's see what we get. It says here At the cave, I am greeted by the leader of the cult Eola. I heard about you. You've been good to our people in the past. Destroy our enemies and we'll support your cause. Clear 374. Okay. So let's look for 374 first. Hopefully it's not that heavy or hard of an enemy. Oh, it looks hard. <laughs> so the enemy is a the priest of Archive, and it has like a what five five magic armor and then three light armor. The good thing is we have uh we are attacking for five for a how do you say this two-handed so i think we can might might be able to do that so let's put it here on this side you can zoom if you want uh to for the much easier way um let me double check that first let's see so let's try to zoom it There we go. So, so we combat, we try to do it this way. And we, he has magic armor and light armor at the moment. So, first we deal with the sneak face. So, we are looking for a three successes. So, hopefully, we can actually try to complete this. Okay, that's a total fail. <laughs> Okay, uh, we there's no push for sneak. And then it's the enemy's turn. Oh good, it's a miss. So for us, we will let's put our our let's put our stuff here in the side so it's actually clearer what we can do. So right. And then what we have is this, as well as a mage armor. This is a Daedric armor, actually. So we are actually good to fight him. And we also have a Berserk, a once per game combat, right? So it says here that in combat, we can lose one health, succeed with any effective action using a, without doing a rolling skill test. I will take that, I think, right? So let's lose uh, one combat. So I'm, I'm degrading one of my combat at the moment. And then we just automatically succeed in one. So we will succeed in the chop, which has a five heavy armor attack. And since he doesn't have any heavy armor attack, we just reduce the mage armor at the moment. So one, two, three, four, five. So basically nulling that part. And then it's the enemy's turn again. And he gets an ice spike. So if he hits, he will hit me for two mage, uh, basically two mage armor, which we don't have. So we just we lose two life on that one and two stamina. I think we will just use the, for us, we'll just use the normal two-handed swing. Uh, and then we will basically just try to attack him for last. Let's go. Oof, that didn't go well. <laughs> so in this case, we lose two life, one, two. We are now in two health at the moment. And we lose two stamina. One, two. Okay. 
Next, uh, enemy's turn again. He misses, which is good. I guess let's do another attack. Uh, come on, swing. Let me give you a swing. Give me a swing. And it's an actual miss again for us. I think we might just go for the die <laughs> for the uh, chop next turn, right? So, okay, it's the enemy's turn again. And this time he will do a frostbite. Hmm. So he's he's going to attack three heavy armor or light armor. I guess we can choose heavy armor because since we have that at the moment, and he will just basically grazing us for one and another stamina. Um, let's do the chop this time. So one and six, one and six into three. So. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, so first now, uh, if we want to see our life at the moment, because of that, uh, we will lose, since we have heavy armor at the moment, we will just lose one stamina and another stamina because of those things, right? And then if we go back, he will try to attack me again. The same thing, using a frostbite. And... Fine, let's do the final swing. Normal swing. So we just need two circles. <laughs> and we looks like we might uh he we will lose one life because of that, because of the uh armor. It's not basically it's not grazing us, so we'll just use one stamina again. Fortunately, because of that, since we are now maxed uh, and we, are, we only have like how many here. So from here, you can see that we are almost in the critical stage. Because of that, I think we will just, basically we will lose this, right? Yeah, yeah, we will lose this. <laughs> we can, Since we can't clear it, and then we will, this our last life, a critical life. If we if we try to basically we have one last chance for it to hit. So it's his turn again. Okay, he will do a healing, so healing of two mana. But we will do one attack. Final, we will choose the chop. Chop. Come on, so we need a diamond. Finally, we got a diamond. So we do a five damage to him. I think that's a clear of kill. <laughs> almost, almost dead. We almost died in that one. So we clear, we put this back. And then, sorry, what was the reward for killing him? Oh, they, they don't have, this encounter doesn't have any. Okay. Let's put back our armor. And that and us. After every encounter, we do heal up to the top. And then put that back there. Okay, I think that is it. And then let's go to the update, right? says here, I wipe the priest's blood off my mouth. Gain 3 XP. It's good for us. It means we level up. And then it says, Thank you for your service, Initiate. You're one of us now. I tell Eola my story. She concludes that one of my people has betrayed me. I need to warn the rest. It says, I'll try to find, I'll find Erari, the Haggler. Okay. Or I'll find Edwell, the Summoner. Maybe we could try the summoner, right? Oh, let's do the ha Let's try to find the summoner. So we, we might have some summoners if we if we can do that. For for battle, right? It might be better. So let's do 194. But first, let's do 194 first. So let's put this. And 
in the discard pile. And then what we need is 194. Okay. So stand your ground. Edwill, the summoner, has found herself sheltered in the midden, beneath the College of Winterhold. The Archmage allows her to stay there as long as she delivers high quality research. So let's put a marker in Winterhold. Let's stop. Okay. Good for us. Now it's the end of the turn, and we will do a upgrade. So basically, we will level up, right? And then, 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 uh, we will basically turn in our XP. And even any excess just goes up. So now we have a choice. I think we might want to do add a two handed attack instead. So, as a, as a skill. So we will roll four dice instead, right? So let's put that in. So right now we're heavily spec for battle just a moment, just to be safe. Because that battle before was almost killed me, and we then upgrade one one of our tanks. We can upgrade our life, and then this should now be up. That's good. So we then use this, pass it to us again, and then we draw an event. And it says, "Rise of the Vampires." Skyrim is under siege. Place two vampire tokens on any wilderness spaces on the game board. So let's find our vampire tokens first. One, two. So flip. Flip again. They're both 376. So let's put it somewhere here, maybe. And another one. Let's put it here. Right? And the other one, maybe somewhere up top. Maybe here. No. Where are the rulers? These are the other ones. We might fight him if he's there, though. Let's go here. Besides solitude, right? No, let's put it at the top. There we go. And then it says here, move every vampire token on the game board one space towards the closest stronghold. If a vampire take token reaches a stronghold, degrade it and remove the token. Yikes. So we first put two threat tokens. We can put it on our stand your ground, I think. And maybe one in winter. No home in need. And then move Ulrich marches. So he will go to winter hold. So they're now there. Let's do that. Let's do it so anyway. So first, they're coming from East March, going to Windhelm, and now are in Winterhold. And that's it. This is then discarded. Let's move the Vampire Tokens, one closest to the... Let's move him, one, two. They're both the same, right? So it's, he goes here. He goes here, I think, the closest one. And then he... Basically, can go up. So they are going to solitude. <laughs> Sorry about for solitude, man. Okay. And that is the event. Now we can start our turn. We can go one, two, three, four. We can pay. Well, we're not even, we're, we're not in a city at the moment. So we have to go in the city first. We can go to Falkreath and maybe get a quest. Right, so one, two, three, four, or maybe we just go one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. It's still not enough. One, two, three, four. I think we go to this one instead. So maybe we can go up to Rift and going up there. So we try to complete this a homey need one, right? Yeah, I think that's the I think that's the main choice that we have. So let's do the Falkrit first and do a stronghold quest because of that. It says, 
Prince Otto, vagabond prince. The beggar approaches, stumbling as he walks. I demand a drink. Bring me mead, peasant. And he gives us uh, anyone. So I think we might want some ore. All right, let's, let's add some herbs for the moment, I think. So that's what we have. We have four herbs now. And it says, acquire mead. So we roll three for speech. And we need three successes. Okay, we need three successes. And we can push for two using coin. Let's try that first. Whoa! <laughs> That's what we want, three successes. There we go. And because of that, we gain two XP immediately. And two resource, two choice of our resources, right? So let's put our XP there. And we you think we get two ores, so we can do upgrades soon, right? So we get four now. And trash this card, says, and draw number 15. This one is the lowest one, right? It says here. Rags or Reaches, part one. Put a space in a wilderness space in the reach. Again, so far. It's so far. Uh, in the reach. So let's put our, where's our token? Let's put another token in the reach. This is the reach. You have to go back again, up top. And I think that's our turn for this one. And then we will then flip to the event deck. So our choice is either to go, we can pay going to Riften to complete this a home in need one, right? One, two, three, four. Oh, we don't actually have to even pay. We just travel straight ahead. Yes, I think that would be the choice. So we go one, two, three, four. We clear this and we remove a home, this threat token because we will try to complete a home in need. So what we need is clear 344. More enemies. And it is enemy. Yazish, the vengeant. So let's try to put that there. Yazish is a very tough enemy, it looks like. A very tough enemy. <laughs> because we are heavy attack and he has four or five heavy attack. So we'll just be chipping with him one by one. And light armor as well. I think we can kill the light armor first. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this. We'll be rolling four now since we have a two-handed skill that we just uh, uh, did for an upgrade. So first we'll do a sneak. So we'll roll three first for the normal sneak attack. And we cannot sneak. Okay. So now he swings first. He will do a crush attack, which is four heavy attack and one stamina attack. So that means he will do two stamina to us, I think. Yeah, from that point on, right? We'll try to do that first. So we're going four, one, two, three. Well, we're sorry, what we're gonna do? We're going to use our let's use our chop. I think we will use our chop. So we will be doing five damage. We do hit. Yes, look at that. That's our chop. Maybe I should not be zooming that up a little bit, a little bit too warm. There we go. So we got our chop. That means 
we will do five damage to him and we will just basically remove this one two three right so at least that one is done and then he will do four damage to us but we have five armor so that means we will just deduct one stamina so we deduct one stamina as well before and so we we will deduct another stamina and then his attack deducts another stamina Okay, he will then attack again. This time it's the same attack. We will do the same attack as well to him. Ooh, we can do a swing instead, right? Yeah, I think we, it's better to do the swing because the swing we can choose as a light armor, uh, an attack. Since he no longer have light armor attack, we can just deduct two immediately. So we were doing a swing, so we would require two circles. And we got three. Yes. So here first, uh, let's deduct. Let's deduct. Uh, let's play like this. It's, it's visible. So let's deduct our attack. Then he attacks us for one. And another one. No, sorry, that, that's it. Just that one. And then we do three damage to him. Sorry, we do three light damage to him since it is a heavy armor. So it's one, two, three. Very good. And now, final attack. He misses. This is very good. And we will do another swing. Oof, we miss as well. We can push if we want to, right? We can push. We can push. So deduct this for a push since we no longer have stamina. Yes, and that's all we wanted. So he is now dead. Whew. So let's put this back in 344. Four. Just like that, we now zoom in. Okay. Sorry. Okay. And we just did this. And let's see the update. It says here success gained 4 XP. Very good for us. So we can actually just uh, 4 XP. So this will be 6, right? There we go. And then two resources. We want to just do this to two. So plus two, two, six. So we just do this instead, I think. And remove these things. Yeah, it's very fiddly. That's why I don't like the, the way they did this. They should have done like one big one, one big token and yeah, just the normal way, it says. Finish me off, you snake. May Malakath and Naki's wrath upon you. And then uh, we draw S10. It doesn't say discard. It doesn't say trash or it's put in a discard pile. Well, we, what is S10? Is it an item or is it a... Let's double check. Sure. What is an S then? Ooh, it's an item. And it says it is a two-handed weapon. It's a nice upgrade for us. We can do a bash or a crush for eight and five. Yes, please. <laughs> so let's put that in our equipment deck at the moment. Where where are we at right now? We are in Riften. So we can do is sell. We can sell our crafting. We can sell our battle axe right now at the moment. So I think we can do that. So let's sell it for two. So selling it for two. Fortunately, there is no way to get back. Like if you do an upgrade, right? If you do an upgrade on on, on the uh, on your equipments, there is the rules doesn't say anything with regards to like getting those back. And then we can just put 
equip our Vengeant Hammer, which is very good. And what else do we have? We can do an upgrade. It requires five, though. So still be out of reach. And I think that is pretty much just it, right? That is for our turn next. Is okay. I think that was where were we? So we gun rifted. Now our turn. We're going to this way, and we will draw another event. And it is. That unemployed soldiers back from the Great War, they find nothing to return to. So it, it will replace the active event that we have now. It says when exploring a stronghold, or oh, sorry, cavern, sorry, a cavern or a mine, encounter one additional human at the end of the, the, each dungeon. Yikes. So let's put that there. And we Get two threat tokens as well as Ulrich moves. Ulrich now will go to the pale. Da, 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 da. Now at the pale at the moment. So we get two more threat tokens. I think we can place that in the rags to reach this one. And it's now our turn. We can. What we can do is maybe pay. Uh, let's do. We, since we're already in Rifted, right? We can just go for. Um, one, if we go to white runner at the moment, we can do one, two, three, four. Or we can just go to solitude and then one, two, three. Yes, so I think we will do, wait, this, is that the same or we can do that? So, Each player moves at the same time. Each player moves four spaces in the roads, or any player who owns a horse. Players starting their turn on stronghold can take carriage to move directly to under stronghold, paying one for any each border. So we can, so uh, well, I'm saying that we can pay and then move for four, right? So that's all different ones. So let's try to do that. So we're paying one gold. Uh, so we're paying one, two, Three to go to solitude. We're paying three gold. It's herbs. Remember I want to bring herbs back there. All right. Then we can then move forth. One, two, three. We encounter this space in the reach, the rags to reach this one. So one, two, three. Let's see what we got. We, we actually forgot to go to Winterhold. Instead, we have to go there, right? We have to go there. It's level three though. We're still on level two. Yes, it's okay. I think we are going to four. So it's one. So we're going to Winterhold instead, I think. That's our plan, go to Winterhold. So we get one gold back because it's only two gold for the carriage. And then we do the Stand Your Ground event. It says here, she barely looks at me as I enter. Stay here, I need to try a new version of the old telekinesis. Telekinesis spell, just don't move. So we hold your ground and we roll three, for plus heavy armor, which we do have one, right? And that's it. So we're looking for two triangles at the moment, and we can push twice for or. So let's try to get that. That's big diamond. See if we can push for one. We don't want that. That's our triangle. That's pushing for one. We can push another one for another triangle. Our last push. It's a circle. And we fail. Fail that objective. So bad. That was our 
says here, my armor cannot withstand the force of the spell. Discard one. One of each. We only have one. Four. And discard the blades. <laughs> no! So we were discarding one blades because of that. And we're discarding an armor. We're discarding our Daedric armor? Or wait, we do have our... It says any armor, right? We still have in our backpack the, um, the ragged one. We haven't sold it yet. I think we can discard that. So, we still have our ragged robes. Oh no, it's not a matching armor. So it cannot be discarded. Oh man, that was a nice armor. So putting this back and shuffling this on the advanced deck. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. We're now back to ragged robes. <laughs> there we go. And then it says here, I don't think I have time for this. Too much research. I think Carly and the Hunter has charged sides, has changed sides. He, he's a high elf after all, right? How else did the Khajiit know how to find us all? She returns to her studies, dismissively waving you goodbye. Edwell seems to have it all very clear in her mind to clear. Suspicious? I'll investigate her. Edwell's argument is solid. A high elf would definitely be with the Talmer. I'll investigate Carlin. I think let's go to invest. Let's inv investigate her instead, right? Because how can she just be? So it's just basing on his race, and then that's it. So let's go for 201. So this is now discarded. I didn't say to discard it, so let's put that back there. 201. Is that correct? 201. And it says here. Before settling on the College of Winterhold, Edwell the Summoner used to live in Solitude, working as a house carl for a young man named Eriker. So let's put a marker in Solitude. Then it says level four to get there. Woo! Okay. I guess what we can do is... Don't have much at the moment. Can try to wait. So we're done now. It means it's the other's turn. I think that in the event deck. We're rolling for enchanting at the moment. And we can push. We require three successes since we don't have much enchanting. We can go one, two, three. Maybe we can just go cave diving, right? We can just go fight some enemies. Just to level up. Hmm. What's the better choice? Uh I think we go straight to it. Yes. So we're paying one. Paying one, one, two, three. We're paying three to go to solitude. And let's see what we get. We're going straight to it. We can do this. We can push for two as well, right? We just need three circles. And it says here, I gain access to Erica's home and confront him about my friend. He doesn't have any kind words for Edwell, the summoner. Everybody in Solitude hated her. She was rude and inconsiderate. However, Erica misses her talents. If I could do something for him, maybe he'll help me. Okay. 
So bake a magical bread. So you will roll three. Maybe we will require three circles. Just like that. He says here, the bread looks fantastic. Erkur gives me a hefty reward in a bag with Edwell's old belongings. Gain five? Yes, please. That's back. Three XP. All right, so we're now 369. We actually level up. And gain one advanced equipment. Okay. And it says here, back on the streets, a beggar stops me. He hugs me and slips a note in my pocket. So, trash 205. Okay, and draw 204. That's 204 and trash 205. This just goes back. So before that, uh, we get an advanced equipment. Hopefully it's something useful for us. <laughs> we got it back. We got our Daedric armor back. So that means let's put back our ragged robes there. And it says here. The Grandmaster wants to see you in the two days, a blade speeding. There's a drawing underneath, an old blade's code. I'll have to interrupt my investigation and head towards the meeting. Let this card. Okay. It says here, leave this card beside the board. Add a marker to this card. Each, every time another player is instructed to draw this card, add a new one to this card. When there are as many on this card as players, and all frequent takes the reach, Draw 205 as a quest for all players. Okay. So since we're only one and there's only one marker, we just need for Ulfric to reach the reach at the moment. So that means we'll be doing some um, questing on our own, right? Right now after this. So we are now level up. 369. Okay. Our choice. What is a good look? We can do speech. Uh, where's our where's the rule book? Right? Where's the rule book? So we have a choice, right? We can do some shadow skills, maybe light armor. Maybe we can add a little bit more sneak. Oh, I forgot. We're heavy armor, so we really can't do any sneaking, right? Why was I doing sneak? Luckily, I was failing it, right? <laughs> as far as I know, I cannot sneak. Let me double check that again. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Sneak. Okay. Playing wearing heavy can't sneak. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we can't do that since we're a heavy armor dude. What do we want? Do you want lock picking? Do you want some pickpocketing? I haven't done any pickpocketing yet, though. Maybe I think we, we just need to do some speech skills at the moment, right? Don't we're using two-handed, so we can't do any block. Is there any parry or something? No. Smithing and block. We can do smithing, I don't but I don't think it's useful. So let's just try to do some speech. So we'll be upgrading speech. This is our choice. So it means we get to draw an extra. Uh, when we we're, were buying something from the marketplace, we can get to draw an extra one. And that's our turn. So the, the, the layer markers goes back to us. That means we draw an event deck. It says here, move one Daedra token towards the nearest stronghold. If it reaches a stronghold, degrade it and remove the token. If there are no Daedra tokens on the board, place one on a wilderness space. So Daedra, flip. let's say three, five, four. So let's put that there. And we have two threat tokens to put, up, to put into. So. 
we can put it in the reach in this one since we're near the here and we will be just doing this right mm, no i think we put here or let's put one in preparing for the storm and one here Okay, I think that's our plan. And then we can do this rags to reaches, right? So we have to go there first to the reach. So one, two, three. And then it says here, the objective, so Otto sways unsteadily. You there, I'm a prince. My family in Riften is waiting for me, my poor family. Take me there, you peasant. I'll pay you later. Looks like a drunk, not a prince. So we have to go to Riften, so we have to move this here. It says every turn, add a threat mark to this quest. If you fail this quest due to a uh, threat limit, read the failure section. So now, the turn is done. Let's go to this event. We can move for Oof. actually we can just do this one, two, three. And then pay how many gold? Is that one, two, three? Paying three. Oh, we have to start there, right? We have to start there. So we go there first. And we can do a solitude quest. Uh, we can do a, a normal uh, stronghold quest and see what we get. It says here, Jishani, experimenter. Greetings, adventurer. I am an experimenter developing exciting new spells. May I try one on you? Gain one. Uh, what do we want? We want more ore. So we can just flip one. So it's three. And then discard this. It says here, roll three and restoration. So let's try to do that first. Two successes. One, we can push. Uh, we'll lose one or uh, soul gem. There we go. That's our two result. And it says here, success, gain two XP. I'll take that. And then trash this card and draw number 10. Okay, it says here, the rising dead part one. So let's put a marker in Marthal. Oh, our Marthal, where's Marthal? Oh, it's just near, that's it. So new turn, we add a threat token to this one. I guess this is going to move to us. Let's draw another event. And this is says Skyforge. Skyforge lies dormant. Still, you can forge some weapons with it. I place two threat tokens. Let's put two in the Rising Dead. And put a marker in white run. So. There we go. Now we will just pay how many? One, two, three. Let's pay three to go to Riften. Basically starting this quest. So we go trash all of this now. Let's go here. It says here, gain two XP. Okay, so we can flip this one to three. And then it says, the prince bows to me, my city at last. Need a drink? I could use one or more. A gang of thugs approach him. Here you are. They grab him and we draw 16. 16. And for the marker is in Riften. Let's keep before dragging the prince away, the thugs tells me. 
So we need to roll for speech. Hey, luckily we got speech. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that's that, and then we that's our turn. This goes event marker goes here. We do another turn, means we try to accept this quest. Says princely ransom. Says here before dragging the prince away, the thugs tell me if he's really that important to you, we'd be willing to let him go for the right price. So we can draw four. And we need two triangles, right? We can push for money twice. Okay. Should be able to do this. And we got two triangles. Good for us. And on success, we gain three more XP. Oof, we're, we're leveling up fast, which is very good. We're on the seven XP. We just need 10 to level up. It says here, the thug takes my septums. He ain't no prince, you know. How about you take this locked chest and we keep the prince? We can't get it open anyway. No. I think we go with the prince. Prince or prince or not, Otto is my friend. So we draw 18. Says. My savior. You'll be my squire and we'll go on an adventure to taste the finest meads in Skyrim. Let's raise Windhelm. Otto turns into Sanguine Daedric Prince of Revelry. Whoa. So let's put a marker in Windhelm. Where is the Windhelm? Windhelm. Oh, we're near. We can do that. And it's back to our turn now. We draw another event. says here, it's an active event. Preparing for the coming war. Once per game turn in white run, turn into basic to draw one advanced. Okay. Might be nice. I have one basic here. And another one here, right? We can't do that, I think. So we get to place two threat tokens. Let's put that in the rags to reach us one, since we're going there straight to Windhelm. And let's do that as our turn. One, two, three, four. We're blazing through this. And what we need to do is steal mead. We draw roll three for pickpocketing. We don't have that, but we just need two triangles, right? And we can push twice. <coughs> okay, what do we get? And we get two triangles just like that. Look at that. That's what we want. God roll. And then it says here, that was a party to remember. Gain four XP. So that means we just get uh, three plus one. And actually three, six, nine, then 11. We are not upgrading. We are not upgraded. So, and we get, get four of any resource. I think we might want three ore and two more. Then we get two more. There we go. It says here, now that, now that was interesting. I'm in the mood for a brawl. You with me? Oh man, draw 20. This prince is going. So we need marker in Windhelm. Then it just says, so we're since we're already in Windhelm, it says clear 343 three, three times. Three times. Okay. Uh, let's put the marker there, so just to remember. And the player token passes to the event deck now, back again. That means we have our turn. We can do that. 343 three, three times. Oh, sorry. Before, as such, You have to level up and turn in those things. I keep on forgetting uh, one, two, three. So we should be leveling this up as well. And we that was for the third level. We can do another one. We level up our health again. So this is for level one, this is for level two, this is for level three, and then level four, right? Like that. 
Now, question is, what do we want again, right? You got the speech already in. We're, we're, we think. Let's do some pickpocketing. Yeah, sure. Let's try to do some pickpocketing. See what it does. Maybe we can encounter some more stuff in regards to pickpocketing. Light armor. Sneak. Lock picking. Ah, uh, let's change our mind. Let's do lock picking instead. So now we have speech and lock picking. And it's our turn. We can do rag switches. We can try to clear 343 three times, I think. Or we can go to Marthal. Where's Marthal at the moment? Marthal is. Where's Marthal? Show me Marthal. Winterhold. White run Marthal. If we go this route, one, two, three, four, no, one, two, three, four, we can pay. We can pay and go to Marthal instead, right? Since we're starting there. You have to clear four, Deidre. That's ouch. Or we can go to White run. What's in White run? Uh, smithing. Oh wait, yes, we can go to White Run because there is an active event in White Run, right? Once per turn, turn into basic to get one advance. Let's try to do that. So we're paying. I think we're just paying one. Paying one gold to start in White Run. Right? And then we're doing this uh preparing for war one. And then we have to turn into basic, so we're selling this. And this basic. Come on. Wait, this is not a basic. This is a normal starting card. So we cannot do that. This is an advanced card. Yes. So I think let's go back there, right? Let's go back to White Wind Helm again. Let's get our gold again. Question is now is do we that's fine. Let's clear three four three three times. So doing this. It's an angry mob. <laughs> okay, let's try to see that angry mob. The sneak of one, we can't sneak, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so where is it? Only has two light armor, which is very bad. So the first attack is it attacks us, can attack us for two light armor. Okay, put this back first, and we will be attacking for four, and we will be just be using our normal bash. Yes, this is, we'll just need one bash, so we just need one triangle. We got one. That means we will deal five damage to it, basically clearing it once. So that's the first clear. Sorry, we have to remove this by one. Right? Then now we start again. So it's, it's attack is a miss. We will try to attack it again using our bash. And then we got it again. So that's easy. So it's now dead one more time. So this is the third time now. Sorry, we should be losing this every time. So each attack. If you attack us for two, but we will actually kill it. Oh, we, we missed. You can push for one, 
I just need, oh, we need, just need one triangle. There we go. That basically resets us and he just cleared the mob. The mob, the angry mob. It has no XP stuff, right? So that means this is done. When it says here, covered in blood and mead, I received my master's blessing. The great wind helm, oh, gain six. The great wind helm, really? Jeez. Okay, means we have to put one there as a marker. Right now, we have that marker in wind helm. Gain six XP, that's good for us, sure. And then gain three resources. Uh, I think we just want mana maybe, just in case. No, I think we just still get the heavy armor. And then it says here, Sanguine Labs. <laughs> nice. Here, take this. And that's it. We go S9, which is S9. I think this is an item, so we go from item board. S9. Hmm. Might be a status card. It's not here. Yeah. Might be a status card, yes. Yeah, I accidentally shuffled this, and it is. And there's another status that says, in a stronghold, the greatest stronghold to gain five. <laughs> wow, okay. So if you want more resources, just degrade it. And it's now back to our player turn. It means we get an event deck. It says here, looks like it is an active event. When drawing event, draw two cards and roll. And uh, depends on what we roll, we get to choose what. And then place the other one on top. Okay, when this card discarded, Trash this card, okay, and place one five two on the top of the event deck. So we put two threat tokens. Let's put one in. Let's, uh, let's put one in Rising the Dead. Put one in this one, right? And then we advance. So the pale he goes where next? Sorry. Goes to White Run, so he's now in this area. Last one, and we're going to the Reach. For us, I think we just go to. We can do an upgrade since we're in Rinhelm. Let's do an upgrade first. Upgrade this for five. So we're just trashing this. Sorry, let's, no, let's upgrade our Vengeant Warhammer for five. So we just draw one from the deck, see what we get. And it is a plus two on watch one. Oh, plus two on that one. Okay. That's nice. It's 10 damage. I'll take that. And what can we do? What can we do? We can just get another one from the Windhelm. I think we can do that. Let's draw another uh, deck, stronghold deck. I keep a, forget, forgetting to use my Blessing of Mara, which basically says I can draw two and then choose one. Ooh, okay. I think let's try this. So we have a choice of Fulgentius or Alien Grieving Bride. I think let's choose this one. It says roll based on our, and we just need to try and do that. So discard this in the back. So, it says here, Tired Traveler, I just arrived. Can you please help me with the luggage? I could really use some assistance. So we gain one. I think we still want that one. Or, and then carry the luggage. Basically, we roll stamina. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we just need two. 
let's try to roll four first if we can really complete this in four and we actually did we gain two xp and then trash this card and draw one two six says here the other side part one so gentius struggles to carry his own luggage my servant was supposed to meet me here after taking care of some errands please check if he's still alive so we need to put a marker on the reach so that area okay so this passes over here we can go there actually we can start and just go to uh solitude i think yeah so let's pay one two three it's paying three three gold to go to solitude which is this All right and then um you can encounter solitude if you want to Or we can just go straight, right? So one, two, three. It says here, the other side, ask around. So we roll three for speech. And since we have speech, we're rolling four. And we require three circles. So we're doing that. And we got three circles. I'll take that. Thank you. And it says that the servant left with someone who, according to the description, looks exactly like Fulgentius. I'm a bit confused. We gain three more XP. So we're now three, six, nine, then 11. We actually uh, leveled up again. It says here, the one calling the shots said they were to go to solitude. I don't really know what I should do, follow them or ignore the issue. Ooh, well, follow the pair I want answers, right? Yeah, sure. Let's go to one, two, seven. Okay. So we need to put a marker in solitude again. So this changes back to solitude. And after that, our turn is done. This goes back to us and says here, draw two cards. One, two, and then we roll and see what we can get. Circle, choose one to apply. So it will choose one. Well, we can end the game actually if we want to, right? Because it says Cars of War or Treasure Hunter. Let's do the active event. It's Cars of War. So this back it says here, displaced families roam Skyrim, begging the travelers for some charity. Turn in three gold to gain one XP. This is going to be the once per player per game turn. Okay. And then we get two threat tokens. Let's put it here on the other side and they move to the reach which triggers the update. Sorry, this one. <laughs> it says here, when there is many undisturbed and Ulfric militia, which is the reach, draw 205 as a quest for all players. So we now cancel this out. So it doesn't say trash it, so just put it in the that one. We do 205. There's no 205. Plus 205 as a quest for all players. There is no 205. If there's no 205, we just move on to the next one, it says. Okay, so we go 206. It says here, the wizard. 
put a marker in a uh, winter hold. So cavern it says once we get there, we will see. Okay, so we can go. How can we get there? We have to fight lots of things. Just we're like be, be between two vampires at the moment. Oh wait, we we can upgrade again. Keep on forgetting. So we clear this, right? Since now we have eleven XP, we're basically level five now. And we get another choice. What are we upgrading this time? Maybe we can do some restoration. No, let's ignore. I'm an Orsimer. We will ignore. Let's do some smithing. So maybe we can draw two. No, I think we just want a. What do we get? We got lock picking. Let's do some thick pocketing. So we, we have the full set. So we're doing pick pocketing. And then we will upgrade this. Good for us. And this goes to this way. So we have to go to winter hold. Sorry. I should have just did that. All right, that's why we have this. So we have to move first, right? So let's go to uh where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Maybe we can just go here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Then the one, two, three, four. I think we, if we encounter this both, right? The, the vampire. We can just do it in one turn. Nah, let's do that. Let's do that. So one, two, three. Go here. Yeah, let's go there. Solitude. Let's do this first. So at least we have this, right? Clear three, eight, four. I think that's what we want. Ooh. Big dude, it's Fulgentius. He has a armor of five. Oh my god! Heavy armor of five, light armor one, and medium mage or magic armor. Okay, since we cannot sneak, we will do a standard crush. So we require two circles. Let's, let's, let's see him attack first. So we'll attach, attack me for two, basically two sta stamina, right? So we will increase our stamina first for the attack. One, two, twice actually. So crush, and it is a crush. We can attack him for 10, and that is basically all of his mage armor. Uh, as in main armor, because it's less than one. And he then damages us for two, which is not even us, and he just damages for one stamina. He tries to attack again. He slaps us. 
he will slap us, but basically we have armor, so he will just degrade our stamina after that, right? And we will then do another attack. One, two. This time, I think we just want a bash. We just want a bash. So we just want one triangle, which we do get. This means one, two, three, four, five for the blue armor. It's now gone. Then we get slapped again for him. He attacks one last time. He will attack for two heavy armor, so basically two stamina. We will do the same thing. Two stamina for us. A bash. One, two. We just require a triangle. We do get it. That means he is now considered dead. Well, Gentius, uh, sorry, and then doesn't matter because we will heal up after every encounter. Trade for. So this is now cleared. It's gone. And says here. Oh, sorry, after clearing 384, it says, Stop! Why do you keep calling me Fulgentius? I'm Augustus. This man is not my servant. He's lying. What? Gain 3 XD. And then, explain the situation to Augustus. He tells me he wants me, he wants to meet his Fulgentius. He's willing to pay me to escort him. Gain 5 gold. Okay, thank you. And draw one two nine. And it says here, marker in solitude again. We are we are in solitude, but then uh, our objective is to go to Windhelm. Okay. And then we just add a marker to this every other turn. So this passes here. We add a marker to this the other turn. We can go to Windhelm right now. It's just, or we just go to this in Winterhold at the moment, right? Why not? Let's go to one. So we're paying one, two. We're paying two gold to go to White Run. So one. We're just using this to get three back. There we go. And then just go into the cavern for this wizard. So we do the quest. It says here, you arrive at the meeting lake. You open the hidden door behind the rock and make your way through the tunnels. At the end, you find a large chamber. There you find the bodies of Erari, the Haggler, Carolyn, the Hunter, Warash, the Mountain, and a dozen other blades. Right? What the heck? Betrayal. A dying Maurash whispers, it was Edwell all along. It was, it was the, uh, Edwell was the, the summoner, right? Yeah, Edwell was the summoner. I found her a hideout. Make her pay for what she's done. Flip this card. Okay, looks like we have completed the, the, the actual chapter now. It says here, your goal is clear now. Edwell the Summoner needs to die, and the Khajiit Muayva Karnai needs to be stopped. If they know of Blades in Skyrim, everyone's life is in danger. Are you ready for your final battle? Each player gains five resources, okay. So we have five now there. Trash S33 and SN358. S33, where's S33? It says, it's, I think it's a status, maybe. <laughs> oh, it's it's an item. Oh, it's there. We go. 32, 33. Ooh, it's bounty in Skyrim. So trash that. And then 358 as well. It's 358. Oh, uh, it's our suspect, Karelian the Hunter. It says here, chapter two is complete. 
Place all cards in surplus tokens in different save game box for each player. Woo! <laughs> Took a while, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice adventure at the moment. But right now, we have these vampires coming in along for us. So that's why. Uh, yeah, so thank you for joining. Um, so we'll try to complete chapter three soon and just go from there. Bye.